<laughs> We're actually only holding you here long enough for, de- yeah, for yeah, immigration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They are taking their sweet <laughs> ass time. <Yeah. laughs> we got to get an episode in while we're at it. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to black bag your no, ass. No, no, guys, we're never going to see you again. That wrong episode. This is Dara Bork, not yeah. Turner. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah. We're only okay. doing this just to Call piss off, off yeah. Dara Turner. Call him off. Yeah. I'm just going to flex the whole episode. Oh, yeah. flex on him. He's very excited to take my permanent residency card out. Just clips of me walking in and out of airports safely. <laughs> like- <laughs> Welcome back to Show Me yeah. Yours Podcast with Jackie and Johnny, everybody. I'm Jackie Agnew. And I'm Johnny DeVito. <laughs> and I'm Tara Wasano. you goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> Going with different intros and stuff. We haven't really yeah. landed on, I haven't really landed on one that um, completely... Um, uh, into yet, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna try as many things. Yeah, as I can. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why not a little bit of this, a little bit of that? Oh, is, isn't, it, isn't it nice just a sprinkle of life, <laughs> just, to, <laughs> just to put it, just to put it on top of it, right? <laughs> try stuff, experiment, love yourself. There you go. <laughs> Who do we got in the studio today, gang? Are you gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> He's I sitting do. next to you. <laughs> <laughs> you we have got the insanely hilarious and talented yeah. Dara Bork, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> we shoot fast from the hip, buddy. We shoot fast from the hip. That was a smooth as hell intro. <laughs> it, was, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I felt like I was going to like sing it off from the start and then... Um, after I sung, I was sitting there and I was like, "Man, that was a big joint tie rolled earlier." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then now, and then now, here we are. Dare, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm fantastic, good. Thank dude. You so we're, much for having me on. Oh, oh, we're <laughs> excited. Coming. It's been a long time, and it's been a long time coming, man. So, what we're here to talk about, obviously, is music. I mean, that's kind of what we do, yep. right? But the music in particular that we're talking about today is something that I was not expecting to listen to, and uh, I. May never again, unless yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unless we light a candle and get funky. <laughs> <laughs> but there, you today you brought in an album um, of a 2010 release from a group called Beach House. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the album is Teen Dream. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fascinating. Can you tell me a little bit about your history with um? What would you what would you consider this as? Is this pop music? Is this dance music? Is this lo-fi? Lo- like yeah. Lo-fi, relaxing, okay. chill music. Um, and I like to think of it like I call it emotional music. It's <laughs> this is your emo. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is me. This is teenage this me. Is what Dara yeah. cuts his yeah. wrist too. <laughs> really? Because I had black hair that kind of fell over like one eye and stuff, but it, most of mine was like dad. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. kind of had that kind of vibe about it, right? Um, the daddy wasn't there. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, in, in the in the interest of emotional music and um, and, and slow, <laughs> chill down vibes, like you do radiate that energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that's uh, that's yeah. kind of the thing. Mm-hmm. So like when we're growing up in um, in the uh, like I'm, I, I can I can only assume to be the rugged streets. Uh, war-torn country, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of Ireland, are you are you a suburb? Are you you're a suburban Ireland? Well, where 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 are you from exactly? I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Oh, I've heard, heard, heard of it. Mm-hmm. I've, I've heard, heard of yeah. it. Yeah, I've heard of it. That's the one. That's yeah. the one to be yeah. from. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? There's a lot of Irish it. running around here, but mm. like, <laughs> yeah, a lot. Really, yeah, there are. Honestly, yeah. too much. If you, if we could prancing send... around, you yeah. might say it's more of a. Woo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's it's a little much. <laughs> it's a little much. So I mean, um, we're gonna talk about music. We're gonna talk about your life. We're gonna talk about the whole story. But Dara, I really only know you from just being, you know what I mean? Just a, just a, just a funny guy on stage. I was telling you the other night we were having drinks that you're. You're a funny joke writer, and uh, I like watching you more than so many other people because you do mm-hmm. shit that I can't do or yeah. that I couldn't okay. sell. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Right? Yeah. So, like, yeah. where, yeah, so break it down a little bit. Tell me about Dublin. Tell us about your life. Oh, God. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm putting laughs> All right. Start from the beginning. <laughs> I'm putting those <laughs> yeah. Do you know what time you were born at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I think no. I was I was the easy. I think I was an easy child birth. You just walked right out of it. I think yeah. I'm. I think so. I One remember. of my sisters. You just slithered into the world and no yeah. problem. <laughs> I was the youngest, youngest of three, and I, one of us was definitely like over twenty-four hours of labor. Nice, I think. 
<laughs> but I think I was the easy one. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Your mom never disclosed. She would just like one of you. She'd, yeah, she'd, 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 <laughs> we hate one of you. <laughs> yeah. At dinner time, like which one was handed a plate and which one was thrown? Just a plate. resented yeah. from the yeah. get go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You will yeah. never live up past this. Yeah. <laughs> you are not worth it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But that's fascinating. So like a Dublin in the city proper suburban kid? S- suburban. So yeah, okay. I'm from South Dublin. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the really posh area of Dublin. Like Ooh, it's super posh. So nice. I'm from this area called, I'm in between areas mm-hmm. like Black Rock or Stillorgan. And so if you tell people in Ireland, if you tell any other Irish person in Vancouver that you're from Black Rock, it's just like, I hate you. Oh, yeah. so you yeah. go Stillorgan. Stillorgan. So I tell people Big in Stillorgan. Stillorgan. Yeah, okay. yeah right. we're big in Sheboygan. Yeah, yeah. big in Stillorgan. And, uh, I also I went to this rugby school called Black Rock College. Oh. <laughs> it's like if you tell anybody that that like they double hate you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Okay, yeah. so like okay. I mean, well, yeah, like even I'm with a name like that, that's fascinating. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right? Be like, well, you gotta fuck with that. That's I great. Mean, yeah, yeah but I, I'm only fucked with White Rocks and uh, <laughs> <laughs> back in, in in my days. But um, so black, <laughs> like so so you see, you're from an affluent affluent neighborhood or whatever. Like I yeah. mean, the bourgeoisie, like death to all of them. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm yeah. I'm for you know what I mean, like killing the rich and stuff like that. But I am also mm. on a shameless. Um, yeah, path to maybe becoming one of them too, right? So if they let me in the club, then I'll let them. I'll let them all <laughs> yeah, slide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I do it unforgivable things. Sky unforgivable. Rocket just- <laughs> <laughs> unforgivable. <laughs> yeah, let me into the club. Yeah. <laughs> Scientology sounds awesome all of a sudden. Yeah. You know what I mean? When there's that many zeros behind it. But uh, are you from the? Uh, are you from an affluent family? Is that the kind of the? <laughs> is is that the thing? Like where? Like how many? How deep the pockets, Dara? If you're coming from this neighborhood, I would say. I would, yeah, Absolutely. I went to Blackrock College, so I can't complain about anything. But yes. I would say I was definitely one of the poorest kids in the school. But that's not oh, saying okay. much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, when you saw enough. all the yeah. other kids, yeah, yeah. I know that's kind of like that. Like yeah. Twas yeah. was kind of like that. I'm like, we weren't mm-hmm. broke by yeah. any means. Totally. On this world scale, we're doing quite well. But it's like mm-hmm. comparatively to all my friends, it's like, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. were poor. Yeah, Jackie's yeah. high school <laughs> reunion like, exactly, had a fucking yeah. Rolls Royce at it. That's like very <laughs> similar to my. I went to a yeah private boarding school called Brentwood College. And it was kind of the same thing. Like I, we were well, like I, yeah, couldn't complain about anything. We were well off enough for me and both my brothers to go to this school. Uh, But of that school, I mean, there were people that fucking had planes, helicopters picking them up in the fields. They had yachts coming by. Like we were bottom of the totem pole at that. You know when you get that like different transportation money. Yeah, Yeah. you know when you're getting boats and air travel and (laughs) shit. I mean, to be fair, my brother would like go there by boat. Uh, but we just had like a little like motorboat, you know, yeah. we lived close by. We were day students, but some people, they had fucking yachts docking like out, yeah, of, yeah. The, out of the marina and shit. Yeah. I think we always gauged it by like, um like, like being from like a pretty small town. It was like where um you could tell like your parents like annual income in like how many blocks you were uh, was your walk to school. Do you know what I mean? Like I lived like very close to schools, so that was kind of the situation or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like I think like the the richer kids or whatever. I don't think there's anybody that was like extremely wealthy in my high school, but like the the kids of like the doctors or lawyers or whatever, right? They were like way out of town, so like if you came in like on the bus or something like that, like they were always doing okay. I think like that is weird, but mm-hmm. the idea of like like you said like your um, <laughs> Jackie's friend called to tell a story about the the high school reunion that she uh, refused to attend. <laughs> she was, <laughs> you had to pay two hundred and fifty bucks to what? go to the high yeah, school reunion. Right? Yeah, 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 like a black tie function yeah, gala yeah. and oh, everything. Gala. Like, yeah. yeah, it was a whole weekend <laughs> yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay, but can we can we go through it? I, Look, I don't it, know if I should. I don't know if I. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. <There. laughs> <Yes>. That took <laughs> zero convincing. <everybody. laughs> So they, uh, I, I got this intel from my friend <laughs> who went, who shall remain nameless. <laughs> that so the second night, so it was like a Friday to Sunday type thing on the but Saturday night, the right? Worst. Yeah, right. right? And you have weekend. to pay two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> like I cannot stress that Insane. enough. Yeah. Um, but um, so on the second night they have a, a gala, which is like a black tie, like formal, like dinner type thing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, at this dinner, everyone was going up and doing speeches. And they had like a, a slideshow going in the background. Like they asked people who were in attendance to submit photos from their time there. And they do all the different decades reunion at once. So there's people from our grad class, people from 10 years before us, 10 yeah. years before them, so on and so on. 
And so, uh, yeah, okay. so a photo uh, comes up. <laughs> it makes it even funnier that the, person might have been there. Yeah, <laughs> so a photo comes up while one teacher is going up giving a very heartfelt uh, emotional speech. You know, this teacher has seen yeah. decades, decades of students. <laughs> yeah, and so it's just, you know, seen speaking from generations. the heart. Oh, yeah. probably sent into the highest of society. Yeah. You know I mean? He's, he's proud the, of the work he's done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the projector is behind him, so he can't see what's going on. <laughs> As he's talking, up comes a photo that is very clearly from a long time ago and it is of a person in full on blackface <laughs> <laughs> like the whole like old school uh, blackface and the, this old school and, blackface as opposed to the, you know, I like that like classic it's, not like, it's not like someone just covered their face in bronzer type thing yeah, like they would, show them like a yeah, yeah. yeah and like but the teacher couldn't see couldn't see it and it was up there my friend said for like two minutes like it wasn't like a quick dissolve like <laughs> it lingered so the, click the button buddy yeah. click the button That's so and crazy and he said like people there were so many people there and everyone there was like kind of a commotion but like the, the the teacher who was giving the speech didn't know what was going on and it was a very emotional speech so people were trying to be respectful but there was just up on a projector behind him someone <laughs> it's funny. so funny because like he's gonna get off stage He's like, I feel like I lost him in the end. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was going really oh, good. So I don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, I gotta try a different tag next year. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, I was killing. Him. I mean, that's that's usually pretty good. But I guess that's what happens when you don't write. You know what I mean? If you don't if you don't stay on top of it, right? You think you're just gonna throw the same speech out every year? That's enough. To, that's a message to all yeah. performers to stay sharp. Yeah, but so that's where I went to high school. <laughs> well, on. There's other stuff here because, like, if we're unpacking this, and we had, we do have to unpack uh, a few I of the other things. No, 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 no. Okay, so um, we'll just, do just, just we'll just do one. one um, but one there was a kid there that yeah. was um, maybe not the most popular kid or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And he came back. To I'm, I'm a, yeah, to flex. He was right? like very much a loner in our class. Like I totally forgot he existed. Like my friend brought up his name, and I was like, oh shit. Like I totally forgot yeah. about him. So he yeah. comes back to show off his, his his new trophy wife or whatever, who Jackie's friend described as a frail <laughs> looking yeah. woman. And it came out that they met on a sugar baby website. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So bought and yeah. paid for. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. her number one goal and aspiration in life, or her favorite thing to do, is just to be a housewife. Yeah, oh like uh, one of my friends like tried to get to know her, and so like asked what her hobbies and stuff were, and she said being a housewife. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then yeah. drove away in a purple yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah, he <laughs> drove out of there, in a, and he's from Calgary. He drove that fucking thing from Calgary to flex Just at the high school. This is how. Reunion. This is why it's not. This is why it's a stupid flex. One, the color of said red. Yeah. Yes, you ain't fucking Prince. Mm -hmm. And yeah. secondly, mm -hmm. you drove Rolls Royce. Terrible move. Yeah. You yeah. get driven. driven. Yeah. Yes. Rolls yeah. Royce. Yeah. 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 You drive a Bentley. To totally. You can Absolutely. drive Bentley all goddamn yeah. day. Mm -hmm. But you don't know, like this. Like that's what I love when people get money. That just shouldn't. They do it wrong. Like they just do it wrong, they and you're like, you wrong. fucking moron. 100%. Like you look yeah. so. Dude. They just get the most expensive shit just because it's the most expensive totally. shit. They don't yeah, understand. Totally. Like yeah, there's no, no there's class, a whole right? I know exactly. No class, my my Johnny. entire rich life is already like he, yeah. it's, it's already yeah. like fucking yeah. sign on the dotted line, and I will be like you know right there. Um, just basically looking pretty similar to the way that I do now. But mm -hmm. every fucking t-shirt is gonna be. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, tough. There's gonna be um, chains. A hundred percent. Yeah, like I'm not gonna. Oh, yes. Like if you yeah. our fucking gnocchi is oh, gonna have a bit of an upgrade on the house. One hundred percent. I'm gonna get a chip installed so that she can speak Taiwanese. Um, uh, and then I'm going to learn that too. Just <laughs> then I will learn. That. Yeah, I'll pay somebody I will to teach it to her. <laughs> yeah. Man, on this the hidden life of pets thing, we were watching this oh, series called program. Hidden Life of Pets on Netflix last night, and one of they do like all these different kind of stories on different people's pets, and one was this dog that this girl trained to oh. associate. She would have a button, so it started with one button. That said, when you pressed it, it said outside, and it had like a pattern on it. Seen this shit. And oh, so she yeah. basically started every time they go outside, she'd press the button, she'd say outside, they'd go outside, and so then eventually, like one day, all of a sudden, the dog's standing by the door, and it presses the button, and it's like outside. Yeah. And so then it basically just escalates. So now there's like fucking food and this. There's and like that. fucking fifty, there's but like it's like expressing emotion. It's yeah. Wow. It, it, there's like one that says, uh, "I love." Uh, oh. 
Well, I've only seen like the says, row of like six commands. Man, there was yeah. like Dude, fifty no, she, of them. I think she's like there's trying to like, patent this thing or whatever because it's like, yeah. a, it's like a, a puzzle. It's it's yeah. it looks like a prototype of something that should definitely. There be was for like sale, one but. that's like I, one that says love you, and one that says mom. And he was just like I love you, mom. Aww. And then yeah, James, oh. I take oh, my dude, I was money. like tearing up. <laughs> 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 It was crazy. Yeah, Before it was, that, we watched an Adam Sandler that? movie about basketball, yeah. and I was crying because it, yeah. it was intense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we turn on, yeah, yeah. Johnny was crying in the basketball movie, and then we turn on a program about pets. And next and is a wild ride, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Man, there was one like because all of it was like because she has cameras like set up in her home because people are studying it or whatever. And one is like the dog's looking in the mirror, and all of a sudden it's like dog. And it's like, who's that? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's like having yeah. like a yeah. There's science. Uh, there's great. like yeah. There's yeah. now they um, there's like a, a university that is basically just has fucking twenty four hour webcams over top of this dog that's kind of studying it or whatever because mm-hmm. for like a, an animal to like cognitively understand itself mm-hmm. or whatever or then be able to recognize it in a mirror and shit like that yeah. is pretty crazy. There was one. Um, they after it was almost like it was too much for the dogs. It was looking in the mirror, yeah. and then um, she was kind of like, "Hey, come back here," and he was like, "Like no," <laughs> like yeah, walked away, just, like yeah. can't deal with that right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, yeah. It's too much for like, my no. little brain to yeah, comprehend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it just finds the no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it it was, was fucking wild. wild. Yeah, and I think that um, what or maybe that that's what like the university has done with like this um. Uh, like puzzle piece of all these mm-hmm. different things because then you can like um, rearrange them and put them in different places mm-hmm. or whatever. I think yeah. that would be like a key test or whatever for it to like really understand yeah. what, it's, yeah, you know, what yeah. it's saying or something. But that's that's fascinating. So how'd you learn how to speak? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was it also so like a So that's what button? Ireland was <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could only afford a few buttons as well. As <laughs> <laughs> real yeah. limited vocabulary. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. 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 Potato. No. Yeah. Potato. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! But I always think like that's the thing about like like Ireland is that I, I I mean I have a beard that looks like that I might like hail from that land, but I don't. And I think that um, or is that Scottish? Is the red reds? Anyway, I think it's Irish. Uh, regardless, but like I always feel ignorant or whatever because the only thing that I know about them is like car bombs and potatoes and like every once in a while you'll hear a white guy say like you know Irish were slaves too. And that's never ends well. No. Right. So like. Um, yeah, can you like 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 uh, break down? Like, when did you come to Canada? Don't know. <laughs> really? When or yeah. why? When? When? Oh, I'm here six years. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that might, might be a more interesting question. Why? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't um, you left? No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're actually only holding you here long enough for, deep, yeah, for yeah, immigration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They are taking their sweet <laughs> ass yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We got to get an episode in while we're at it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and they're going to black bag your no, 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 guys. We're never going to see you again. That wrong episode. This is Dara Bork, not yeah. Turner. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, we're only okay. doing this just to Call piss off Dara Turner. Yeah. Just under the flex the whole episode. Just flex on him. Yeah. He's very excited <laughs> to, to take my on. permanent Little residency there, card right? out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a f- clips of me walking in and out of airports safely. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> You've been here like six years. When did you start doing stand up? Uh, like, kind of in school. Okay. I, like, I did debating at the right at the end of school. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I was terrible at debating, but I just made, so I just made jokes instead. Mm-hmm. Hey, That's when I was go. like, oh, I kind of like this. And then I kind of did it in college. And like it didn't really do it in college. It wasn't great. The scene mm-hmm. wasn't great. And then I did it after college, and it was awful. I bombed. I like did this one show in Ireland. And I bombed so bad. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I give up. What's the scene <laughs> kind of like it, out there? Is it similar to like a like a pro am thing, or is there a bunch of mics and shit like this? Basically, like very similar. Or do you have to? Yeah, super similar to Vancouver. Yeah, like yeah. one mic that everybody goes to, yeah. and right. then just like booked shows across Fair the enough. city, and then, yeah. then like the big, they have a big club called Laughter Lounge. That's so after yeah. you, so were you, you know, kind of booked, looking forward to this thing, and then just ate a big bag of shit and yeah. never came back? Or? Yeah, I was like, oh. never again. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So then when you come to Canada, you're like, oh look at these fucking hacks! I got something for yeah. you. I got something for y'all. <laughs> I went. Yeah, I won tickets to a Yucky Yucks show. Like one ticket. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. A man yeah. gave one, you tickets. Yeah. Yeah. One tickets. Yeah. You filled out a card yeah. at another totally. show. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was the qualifier for the Winnipeg. So the Winnipeg judges were here to oh, for the wow. festival. Nice. And me and my friends went and watched it. And I was like, I can do so much better than these guys. I like 
Hell I yeah. I'm, uh, put me back in That's the game. The shit. Put me back That's in yeah. the couch. In the so game. We were yeah. talking about yeah. that just before you got yeah. here. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's, like, yeah. there's, there's a difference between that kind of arrogance or whatever. Just knowing, or like, you know, it's like like um, I play basketball, but I know the level of which I can play, right? So I'll see some guys and be like, I can't hang there. And I'll see some people be like, I can fucking hang there yeah. for sure, right? <laughs> so yeah. that's cool. That's, yeah. So then, yeah, booked. Susie's whatever you call it pro am. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah, ate a big oh, bag of dicks over. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it took me another year to come back after no. that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but oh, now you're that's... invincible though, right? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. invincible. No, I haven't bombed in at least like three days. <laughs> 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 but at least when it happens, you're going back. Coming you're going back, back up. Yeah. Yeah. You're going back yeah. up. Oh, that yeah. happens. That yeah, gap no. is a lot shorter now. Though. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's my yeah. I've had three good bombs in the past like, you know, the past few weeks. Or oh, man. Yeah. I think it's so crazy how yeah. like I remember when I first started because people like just don't care about the bombs and I was yeah. like I cared so much oh, like man. dude I wouldn't remember I remember going home from like <laughs> after waiting in line of yuck yucks for like mm-hmm. four hours yeah. to do four minutes yeah. and like just eating yeah. shit yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then like walk, storming out of there yeah. like yeah. Straight up storming. Like, yeah. this is before, like, the meditation thing. Yeah. I'm still doing coke. Right. Like, it's oh, like, no. I'm, like, yeah. I'm, like, punching bushes and, like, <laughs> just, like, just <laughs> losing it. And it's, like, That's you moron. Worst. Like, yeah. of course you're shitty. Totally. Yeah. What are you thinking? I yeah, mean, you fucking, yeah. you're an idiot. Like, yeah. what are you so mad about? Yeah. It, took a, it took a minute for it to affect, because, like, I think when we started, like, we was meeting in writing school and, like, um... I was in film school for writing and they we kind of had um like when we started stand up we were kind of talking about it and I feel like there was a lot of stuff that was like basically in the bag or maybe even shit that was like like you were doing um some stuff that was like pretty similar to um that you'd written a script like about you know what I mean like the tampon story and <laughs> You know what I mean? Like there was some shit that I felt like it was a little bit like easier to come up with material at that time than it is kind of now. So the mm-hmm. stuff now, cause like you get better at stand up, So you're more like kind of, uh, you think about it a little bit differently or whatever. Right. But I think we started with like, a, like a, some relatively decent enough material or whatever that, especially in like the, um, uh, in the circle or whatever that we were in, we kind of got to like, uh, like an, like a booked amateur level, like relatively mm-hmm. quickly or something. So mm-hmm. I was like feeling pretty good there. And that was the worst fucking thing that ever happened to me because <laughs> you just fucking think that like, you know, you got some steam under you and then you don't really bomb into like, like you'll, you'll do poorly, but you don't really fucking eat shit until yeah. like a couple months in. Yeah. Fucking yeah. that's the worst. Yeah. It's yeah. I walked, yeah. to do. Oh, like, of course. Right. But I, it's like, it's, it's that whole thing. And then I get to the point where I'm like, I'm an emotional, I'm an emotional boy. Jackie yeah. gets to hear some, <laughs> some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, what like kind of made me start actually not caring when I bombed was when like we started doing the show at King's Head. And so yeah. we're hosting like, you know, every like every week, every other week. And so when you host, like you, you kind of like you're not gonna do like as well as the other people on the show are gonna do most yeah. of the. Yeah, time. it's not your job to do that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Your job is to put and everyone so, else over, right? Like kind of yeah. learning that and being like at first being like, why do I suck every time I host? And be like, no, like you're doing good because then everyone else on the show did good after mm-hmm. you. Like that's the the job, and then getting used to that. And so now, yeah, when you, I do a set and it like doesn't go as well as I want it to, like I can kind of let it go. Totally. Yeah. Also, like, like knowing that you have. <laughs> X amount of shows to yeah. go in the week. Yeah. Oh, like, well, yeah. I guess got to jump right back. A hundred percent. Because you're like, exactly. it, and then the great equalizer, of course, is always mm-hmm. like great set on a Saturday. Yeah. You're like, yes, and I close this week out. I got a chill little, chill little show to do Sunday, mm-hmm. yeah. and then we're good. And then you go up and just eat oh. shit. Oh, oh yeah. Sunday, yeah. right? <laughs> totally. Yeah. Just yeah. like yeah. fucking the whole week man, is just fucking one hundred percent or like yeah. everything. Like a fucking like a two. You don't have a gig Monday, so you just sweat it out. Yeah, man. There, the, you start asking around on Tuesday because you're trying to get yeah, that win back and yeah. stuff. Yeah, man, the best yeah. fucking. Uh, Should got canceled on Tuesday. What it was because of my set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the fucking the, time. The all best all the time. Fucking Why am I on the early show all of a sudden? They put, I was on the late show last time. Yeah. <laughs> the like, best, I'm the fucking the worst. The best of that. fucking version of that was the <laughs> last roast battle when I like won. One uh, defended the title coming off the biggest high. When uh, you win at a roast yeah. battle, that's the biggest oh, high, yeah, yeah, yeah. let alone when it's like you're carrying the belt and it's fucking mm-hmm. awesome. 
walk over to Tuesday to <laughs> Tuesdays to Susie's five minutes down the road and Johnny's hosting the open mic there. Marathon so I'm sitting there comics. for fucking <laughs> two and a half hours. By the time I go up, there's like seven people in the audience. And as I'm being brought on stage, one of those fe- people fucking faints and collapses in the crowd. And no one, because the people sitting at the front didn't know what was going on. Johnny bringing me up didn't know what was going Lights on. Lights in my face, I have no idea. So, so I'm just talking her up. People and fucking are tending to and I walk off the stage in yeah. the light. I come through the light. You see her on the ground. So as people are oh. tending to her, paramedics are coming in, and I'm just doing five. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking pro just does the time. Oh, that would be the dream, though, Dude. to make a paramedic laugh. Like, as <laughs> they were laughing like on the way oh out. I was I think they, like, they were leaving, and I was about to oh, bring up good. Dara, and I'm like, that was weird, huh? They're like, yeah. It's like, All right, and then Dara Turner, everybody. And Dara's been in the back this whole time, and his therapist is in the room, and he's been doing all these therapy jokes and shit. He's like, this is amazing. This is the greatest fucking thing that's ever happened, blah, blah, blah. And he's... He's got that a million miles a minute, you know, yeah. energy, right? That only comes for <laughs> forty grand, yeah. forty forty dollars. Forty grams, yeah. <laughs> so and uh, so the whole time he's telling me about like how great this moment is going to be, but I'm like, I'm lighting people early, you know what I mean? I'm trying to fucking get through yeah. the list, but mm-hmm. not necessarily paying attention to him. And then you really start paying attention to him once his therapist that he's waiting to just you know to blow the roof off for. Starts tending to the woman that is on the ground. So he does the set and he's trying to do all the jokes. And he's not even paying attention to him. And Derek just lives in this in this special kind of bomb, right? The, the, the yeah. last the last then, guy at a thirty comic open mic bomb. Yeah. Where, the kind of bomb where your therapist doesn't listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling out the crazy shit. He's up there saying, doing me like, I hate Asians. All that shit. Like, he starts pulling out all that shit. And we're like, what? You're disgusting people. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, my God. Such level of confidence. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's pretty incredible, man. But so, like, where where do you, how bombed, how bad do you have to bomb to not come back after a year? Like, what was that like? Or was it just like, were you going back to retool or was it like that soul crushing where you're like I'm fucking out of here never bombing ever again never putting myself in that situation Mm, it's just like just like you know when you like write something down on a piece of paper it's like that's so funny oh yeah and then you say it out loud to a room and just nothing yeah (laughs) oh no and that's like oh wait that was my best joke (laughs) like oh no it only gets worse from here it's like that's (laughs) like why like bombing stings so much because there's like an eagerness to like tell some some people something that you think is really funny and there's no denying like the cringe like like reaction when you say something you think is funny and people don't find it funny like there's no, no the, hiding that oh yeah. no the <laughs> yeah. instant crushing yeah, yeah. You j- i'm just like and trying to oh, act like it doesn't bother it's you so yeah, bad yeah it's so bad <laughs> yeah trying to just seem unaffected by it like powering yeah. through yeah. it's fine it's fine it's totally yeah. fine because it's almost like a moment of surprise right because you don't and it's always like the way that you handle it too right i think like being like a little bit more experienced now that you can kind of play off like you know what i mean like that like those like you know bad reactions to jokes that maybe aren't like you know worked out yet or whatever but when it's like your a shit it's so <laughs> when bad it's, your yeah. fucking A-shit, it's like, so your bad when it's stuff. like when, yeah. <laughs> <you> fucking, <laughs> <laughs> but it's so bad that it's like you say a joke that just you're so like stoked to show people and it just yeah. fucking eats shit yeah. and then you're like thinking about it the whole time and you say something else you didn't really plan on saying yeah. and for some reason That'll get some fucking laughs. Yeah. And really, you should be so happy about that. I mean, yeah. like, oh, I'll work on this. But you're like so See, mad that they oh, didn't yeah. laugh at the yeah. first thing. Totally. You're yeah. like, fuck these fucking clowns, <laughs> like, dude. I don't even... <laughs> He's getting so angry. Yeah, I, uh, I had one uh, set a couple weeks ago where a washroom went up right before me, <laughs> and for the first like minute or so of my set, I was just like riffing on him, making jokes about him, fucking crushed. Then went yeah. into material, and it's like it didn't bomb, but it was like they were significantly less into it. And right, I was like, yeah. well, I should have been fucking talking about Washburn the whole time, I guess. Yeah. Should I just bring him back on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 That's the fun- I remember going to a show one time and I'm like booked on this thing and uh, you know when you get to uh, spot like and I'm pretty like you know very fortunate for as like 
short of time that we've been doing this to be just like far as ahead of long as we are. I think like me and Jackie's case for sure. Like, so it's, it's always really cool to be booked on anything or for anybody to, you know, like offering you a buck to do comedy and shit, but you still get this fucking thing in the back of your head where you get to a show and like, why does everybody else got 10 and I got seven? Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. There's still like a proving ground kind of thing or whatever. Yeah. Right. And, um, I go up there and I'm like, well, I'm going to fucking just knock him off the box with this bullshit or whatever. Right. And I start digging myself a hole immediately in the first like two minutes of that stuff. And then I'm like, okay, this is a little bit like newer material that like I was for a long time, I was kind of doing like a joke of the week kind of thing that was like going really well, but then I like it didn't have legs long enough to go. Um, so then the material that I was working on, I hadn't been doing comedy long enough that I could just like have it in the back pocket and pull it out and be smooth. Right. So I'm already digging this hole and bombing and I'm worried about it. So I'm like, Oh, I'll just pull the good shit out and just start going by then. They already fucking hate me. <laughs> and, you yeah. Are, yeah. and I couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, and you can't dig yourself out of that hole and stuff and you walk off and you're like, yeah, there's a fucking thing. I can't believe they gave me seven. You should give me four. <laughs> like this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. They're like, walking away from that and that, especially at that time being so fresh in, you don't have another show in like a few days. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. 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 Ooh, it took a minute yeah. to get back on that one. <laughs> I do find that now more when I'm bombing, like I, just start laughing at how like oh, ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah. 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 yeah and i yeah. find that that uh like tends to disarm them they're like okay she knows that it's not going well <laughs> yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. okay with totally. it type thing yeah. i mean it's still like i'm still not okay with it yeah yeah but just you know like all right fuck you guys in the know. moment i'm like oh this isn't going well at all and yeah i just have yeah. to keep going yeah. Yeah. yeah well i think that that that's coming from like just like more experience or whatever yeah right? riff it on that exactly like i'm gonna riff on how bad this is this is obviously super fucking awkward for everybody involved oh so let's talk about it definitely right because it might be a daytime in an indian restaurant or it might be like you know what i mean like a fucking crowd that's partying too hard or like a king's nah, Jer- audience that doesn't want to listen or, you yeah. know what i mean right yeah. there's jaren drew doesn't do shows here anymore oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah thank right. god <laughs> daytime yeah. indian restaurant and they're trying to sell me fries i'm like i think you have better things here for me to try yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. i think you'd want to get me on this uh, on board of this whole yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck with paneer dude don't worry oh yeah <laughs> man yeah. bring it over yeah. i'll get it down <laughs> you know what i always get shit on is irish um cuisine i'm a food guy what what uh, what do you what do you cooking yeah. what, what's going on over in ireland, in ireland as far as food? not not potatoes. good options yeah really? potatoes <laughs> like a good stew a good like, stew. Stew. Yeah. yeah you like a good Archie. shepherd's yeah. pie yeah. sort of situation yeah, yeah, yeah i worked yeah. at an irish restaurant actually all that shit everything that was on the menu when i was, I was a prep cook yeah, <laughs> that I prepared. Yeah, yeah. in vancouver um there's a place called uh, kelly o'brien's the chain restaurant so i worked in the kitchen in the vernon restaurant for uh, a couple years yeah okay so i was uh, I was, uh, I was a line cook and then um uh, yeah, the girl that I was dating at the time was like, you can't just be doing like Coke on Wednesday, <laughs> every Wednesday. So then I was like, clearly oh. she has never met a wine cook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're talking about. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is because when we left, uh, we were like a high school sweetheart, right? So we moved out of town and I was going to Vernon for business school. So then once business school became like corporate business thing, I'm like, I just want to own a skate shop. Like this is like not necessarily like what I want to do or whatever. So I dropped out of that. And then, so like the, like the, the aspirations were so high or whatever when we got there. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm just like a shitty line cook or whatever, like <laughs> working at a bong shop on the weekend too. Right. So like it was, yeah, you know what I mean? Try to maybe change the attitude up a little bit. So I went to, um, uh, to daytime, uh, which was cool because um, then I could just do that cocaine during the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. It's not as busy. It's much more yeah. inconspicuous, you know. Yeah, you have was, high yeah. energy during the day. Oh, like, dude, like the time. prep was awesome. Yeah, because like the the, um, the lunch chef was just like kind of hanging out, and it was a relatively uh, not a very busy restaurant during the day. So I had basically a hand um, to just to prep everything, and I just get like fucking yeah, forty shepherds pies going, and you mm-hmm. know, big 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 batch of stew. And uh, <laughs> yeah, basically chicken was and I would prep like fucking um, fish and chips. We did a shitload of. So say, if like you like, fish? if you're prepping yeah. Yeah. Um, fish, yeah. you like kind of par cook it or whatever. So I'd like, yeah, mm-hmm. like fucking par cook like a million of these things and, mm-hmm. trace them and stuff. So yeah, shout out to shout out to Ireland. Sweet, I'll take it. Actually, that's not <laughs> yeah. true. Actually, <laughs> fuck um, the, fuck that place because uh, actually no, they were they were cool. But I threw a burger in the face of the owner of the franchise, <laughs> um, not knowing that it was him. But basically. I fucked up. Oh, I thought, oh, okay, no, okay, this is gonna come out now. I'm the bad guy. I'm, okay, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. So every time I've told this story, I've been like, you know, or you know, and kind of like talked my way out of it. But yeah, that's all copped to this right now. So I was in. Um, in Vernon, every year they do um, like a baseball tournament for, there's only like um, seven or eight uh, locations. So they all get together and um, they can't do it in Vernon anymore because the city banned them from doing it because it got so rowdy. Uh, the first year that I worked there, that was the best one. 
But the second year that I worked there, Kamloops was like, okay, you could do it in Kamloops. So what they do is they get a Greyhound bus to show up at every Kelly O'Brien's location, and it has a keg on it. And then they have like um, you know, like the like the like the um, like the mix sh- shooters and stuff, like mm-hmm. porn stars and fucking um, uh, like King Kongs and all that kind of shit or whatever. They just have like um, two six bottles of like pre-made shots or whatever. <sighs> So by the time you get to Kamloops, we're fucking destroyed. Not yeah. to mention like the you know the people that are coming from Vancouver and you know whatever, right? Everybody gets off that bus just lit the fuck up, and then we all start playing uh, softball, and we were terrible. Um, I remember like I hit a fucking like couple like decent like deep uh, deep flies, and I just kept getting caught out by this guy that fucking just keeps flashing leather out there, <laughs> and we kind of had some words on the field. <laughs> now. <laughs> After we were drinking, like just um, uh, it was sponsored by Okanagan Springs. We were drinking fifteen, sixteen, like all day, and it just gets to the point where it's just like shitty, like warm keg beer out in the sun. It's mm-hmm. thirty degrees in August, yeah. right? Like we're Ugh. just foam. You're just drinking yeah. foam, totally, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, we were all done with it, and they didn't have just like mixed drinks. So um, the people from the Camloop store was like, "There's a liquor store like a block away. Let's just go get a bottle." So we went and got a bottle of Stoli, come back, and then we were just sitting on the bleachers, and we were just drinking the Stoli, and. There was a point where you could safely dispose of the bottle or you could do what I did. And uh, we were the there was like the the back of the bleachers was kind of like to like the this fence. And then there was like a field or whatever. Right. So in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to fucking turf this back into the field. What happened was that bottle hit um, power line behind me and smashed on the ground underneath me where a bunch of people were, I guess, hanging out. Uh, I didn't know where they were. The people that were hanging out there was the guy that was couching my pop flies and shit, and we were already talking shit during the day, and now he's like, that was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen, which it was. <laughs> Granted, it was. <laughs> but there's no way to approach anybody physically with physical violence. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I, I, there's no way to come back from that. But yeah, he definitely got like right up in my face, and I was like, you know what, man? Fuck you. You've been an asshole all day, so, <laughs> like, so let's have some words now and shit. So then we were having words. And at the time that we were having those words, I had like, uh, you know, the, the barbecue was going on, right? I had like half a cheeseburger in my hand <laughs> when I was eating it. And there was a guy that gets in the way and he goes like, you need to fucking chill out right now. And I'm like, look, man, I don't know who the fuck you. And I was like, so I take a bite of the burger and he like goes like pull it away from my mouth. Like I'm talking to you right now. Like pay attention to me. And I'm like, fuck you. And I threw the burger <laughs> at his face. That man owns the entire franchise. Wow. <laughs> but crazier shit has happened at those ball games. So they decided as a group, I guess like all the owners walked away and they were like, he's a good kid. He's the head prep cook of Vernon. He's actually a really awesome guy. <laughs> and my boss, Wayne, who's a fucking asshole too. Fuck that guy. He was banging waitresses <laughs> in the, in the uh, bathroom. One of his wife was also working at the place too. So the place oh, is a fucking shit God. show, right? Oh. It was It was. Sounds wild. like a regular restaurant it's to regular, me. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a fucking like like classic <laughs> old restaurant story. No matter where you are. Yeah, so yeah. they decided not to tell me that like, you know, they decided just to let everything kind of blow over or whatever because it was like maybe an hour before everybody was going to leave. So everybody kind of shook hands and stuff like that because I was like, look guys, I understand I fucked up. I'll clean up the fucking thing. Like if we want to fight about it, we can fucking fight about it or I can just be like, like, I'm sorry and clean the fucking video. Yeah. But if we want to fucking escalate it, let's fucking, is that yeah. that point you're drunk and now I'm talking crazy shit, right? So <laughs> um, <laughs> what happened after that day was basically like we all went home on the thing and it was kind of like subtly like in the air, like is Johnny going to get fired when we get back to the yeah. or whatever? Because <laughs> yeah. right? there's a couple people there that did know and shit, but it wasn't like, it didn't come to my attention that he was the owner of the whole company until the next morning because I was a prep cook and I think that's when they decided like not to do it or whatever. And he's just like, fuck it. Like if he doesn't show up to work in the morning, then we'll fucking turf him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I showed up bright and early because I'm a fucking, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, a line cook for real. Yeah, that's a, that's <laughs> yeah. a true line cook life. Totally right, man. You fucking show up to work. And uh, when I got there, I was hung the fuck over. And Half um, gram and in the, the pocket, ready to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? The kitchen manager, when I walked in, who's not normally there, this kitchen manager was fucking gnarly. He's an ex-military guy. So he just like, I walked into the kitchen one time, and he's just holding a gun, like, like, like pointing a nine millimeter at my face. And I was Jesus, like, yeah, dude, dude, like crazy shit. And he, they were getting cleaned, and they were unloaded and shit all the time. Or yeah, whatever. But like, you shit your whatever, fucking pants, yeah. right? He's what one of those fuck fucking guys. Fuck, right? fuck that, that guy. Shit. Fuck that shit. Um, so anyway, he's that kind of fucking guy, right? <laughs> And uh, so I get it. I walk in through the door and um, he's just giggling at me. And he's like, you got this. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? So he's like, come out to the front. So I walked in through the um, uh, through the kitchen. We walk out to the front of the restaurant and the owner of my um, <laughs> of my restaurant, Wayne, is sitting there. And the guy that I threw the burger yeah. at yesterday is still sitting there. And he's got the shirt on the on the bar <laughs> with all the ketchup <laughs> and shit on it. And he's like, do you remember Amazing. me? And I was like. Kind of. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, like, there was a lot of commotion last night, and I think that, yeah, you, we were definitely definitely involved. <laughs> and he, like, broke it down basically, like, you're a lucky son of a bitch that all these guys like you and stuff like that, because, like, you would fucking never do that to anybody. Like, if I ever see you at one of my 
fucking company functions acting like that blah 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 right he just yeah. read me the riot act kind of and uh and i was like okay like i apologize for it. and i walk it out back to smoke a cigarette and then at that point uh my kitchen manager comes out and i can just hear him giggling the whole way and he's just like so you threw a burger at the owner <laughs> of the entire <laughs> not, not wayne <laughs> not just an owner of a company he's a franchise man you the, the, the owner <laughs> that's <laughs> so good yeah that's so yeah I had, I, had a, I had a little reputation <laughs> as, far as, as far as kelly o'brien's was concerned shout out to kelly o'brien's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Carlos, though. Carlos can go fuck himself. Yeah, sure. Carlos, <laughs> is is that the Carlos owner? O'Brien's that har- horrible Irish bar. Yeah, it's a bar. You know, they're, they're, they're just attached to each other. It's just a patio or whatever. Oh, right? okay. Mm. Ours was called Patios. Pretty good. One of my favorite things to do is to drink in Irish bars in totally non Irish places. Yes. Like, I was in Brazil for like a year and we oh, would yeah. always go to this place called Shenanigans. And huh. it was just like. <laughs> Giant, giant ass Brazilian women <laughs> dressed like leprechauns. What? <laughs> awesome. It was like, oh let's go, God. just drinking fucking cappy vodka like it was yeah. nobody's yeah. business. So they used to have these like, uh, <laughs> it was like you go into bars there and it's like, they don't. You don't pay for anything up front, or like, right. or, or you just have a tab. But your tab mm-hmm. is a piece of paper that you get, yeah. and it has all the drinks listed, and then there's little boxes. So you just go, can I get one more or one of these? And they just check the box off. And then at the end of the night, everyone, all these hammered ass people wait in a giant line with their pieces of paper. Oh my God. To fucking pay for their tabs. And it's like, it is like, if you, it's the biggest scam because it's like, if you lose a piece of paper, if you, they only give you one and it's made out of like, you know, like a child's drawing menu. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a thinnest fucking what happens yeah. when you lose shit it paper or... or get it wet from yeah. drinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so happened? it's like, oh, you got to pinch like a hundred bucks extra. Like oh, it's yeah. fucking like they just, <laughs> they, oh, even if they're like the tiniest God. rip in it, they'll fuck you, dude. They'll fucking like, oh, oh, dude. But then it became a game though to be like, yeah. you pick one drink and you just try to check off oh, the all the boxes yeah. throughout yeah. the whole, and there's like 25 or something like that. You're drinking like Brazilian rum just get fucking lit in this Irish bar oh my god called awesome. shenanigans That's so shenanigans it was in the heart of Rio like in the fucking like in Dijonair like just like in, in uh shenanigans was, I think it was in Copacabana and it was just fucking hilarious dude. we would shit. love That's that place I'm yeah. not a stranger to an Irish pub but an Irish pub and a Spanish speaking uh, or Portuguese, or Portuguese, Portuguese speaking, yeah. Portuguese yeah. Speaking, yeah. fucking like that would That's be crazy. way cooler you want the shamrock shake <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's fucking crazy. awesome. What's the wildest Irish bar not in Ireland that you've been to? Oh, yeah. Do you like going to Irish bars here? No. 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 Oh, no. in Vancouver, yeah, I like going yeah. to oh, Irish yeah? bars, yeah. Because yeah. there's well, like legit ones, Irish, right? Yeah. yeah. There are like legit ones. Ish? Ish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, I don't I don't really like the whole, like when they try to make it like an Irish bar. They try to make it look old and yeah. like, look, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's throw a little shade around. What do you think? Of like, um, let's go yeah, Doolin's and Dublin's. What do you think? What do you mean? Or Dublin? sorry, which, 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 no, which is one down, I mean, Gastown there? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the Blarney Stone. Blarney Stone. Blarney Stone. Yeah, Blarney Stone. I like the Blarney Stone. And, Blarney okay, great. okay. Yeah. Compared to like, oh, Doolin's or whatever, or the Lennox up on, uh, up on Granville Street. No, don't like that. Mm. No, yeah, Lennox that, is yeah. very like like fancy, like hoity toity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah very yeah, much yeah. so. Right, nine dollar beers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So no, okay, yeah. I can see it. Do you know the smaller establishment on Gravel Street that's across the street? Fuck, I always forget the name. But uh, yeah, they have a big glass window now. It used to just be a dark low bar. But that used to be Johnny Fox's. Oh on yes. I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So the new location showing up. Uh, Jordan Wilson kind of took over. Is Johnny yeah. Fox's a chain? No. How many bars are named a, Johnny Foxes? I went to a bar in Scotland named Johnny Foxes, and I think it was like an Irish bar. Yeah. 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 There's a Johnny. There's one Johnny Foxes in Ireland, and it's super famous. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. That makes it's sense. It's massive, like right? Yeah. 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 Isn't it? No. Oh, I thought it was like a fucking huge fucking whatever bar. I feel like I've. Seen oh like, no, you're right. It is. Yeah. I feel like I've seen some sort of like maybe like a. Um, Maybe like a Bourdain thing or something like that. Mm. Or someone like goes to it or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Um, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. And so the whole drink driving laws come that came in like 10, 20 years ago really screwed it. So like you've only had uh, drinking and driving laws for ten or twenty years. They only like enforced them. That's like, awesome. When it became like 
like socially how unacceptable. Had, oh, yeah. okay, okay. So now they have buses that go out and back to it like every night. You know what's crazy? <laughs> when we were in Scotland, they told us that it, it's zero percent. Like you can't even have one drink and drive in Scotland. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Is that That's just because like, and they any stop selling or... liquor uh, at 10 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not well, that in yeah. in, uh, <laughs> no, in bars, yeah. yeah, and you can still get it in bars and restaurants, yeah, but you yeah, can't yeah, buy yeah. it at a liquor store Ireland's past ten. Well, I've heard yeah. that yeah. there's yeah. countries that um that their we government found that like out has at to. Ten oh one, trying to buy liquor. Oh, that's was, a fucking yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was trying to buy night. booze in Montana, or sorry, not Montana, in um, Minneapolis one time, and on Sundays they you they just don't sell liquor at all. Yeah, some counties yeah. are like that, it's right? It's fucking yeah. crazy. So I was like, where do you get booze? This is a dry county. Yeah, this is a dry county. You have to drive to Wisconsin. It's fucking crazy, right? Yeah, it's we've uh we went to as a family went to utah a couple times for like skiing trips um and stayed in salt lake city for a couple nights and it's very difficult to find liquor in that in that city yeah yeah it's a woman's yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah. fucking awful but there's yeah. some there's some countries that i've heard that have to like um uh like enforce it because their people get so fucked up like i think in norway and sweden and stuff like that we said that there's um like uh just proof of like when um when alcohol was basically like being invented or being like enjoyed like way back in the day or whatever like in southern um hemisphere europe or whatever there's been um I'll, there for a lot longer so i think that um people higher up or whatever just came to the conclusion that they just can't handle it as well or whatever mm. so i think like the government liquor thing um it's so expensive to drink i think i think it's in norway and they have this like whole word for it where it's basically like pre-gaming mm. at their house before they go anywhere so you basically buy oh yeah, yeah, yeah stock yeah. up and drink at the house or whatever and then fuck off mm. and do it elsewhere but it's it's, yeah. it's it's weird weird liquor rules mm. yeah the best my favorite it's gone from ireland now only in the last few years but good friday in ireland used to be no alcohol but they had a couple of loopholes and the loopholes were so funny. Like oh, what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's yeah. great. I love this. You could serve alcohol on moving vehicles. What? Like, <laughs> so like trains could still serve alcohol. Uh, so people, Irish people were, could go out, buy a train ticket to the just other to side of the country, just drink faith. on the train. That's and then get fucking. the train right back. That's yeah. so that is awesome. Funny. Yeah. Just That's some so guy with fun. a rickshaw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Someone, yeah, someone in the the train company had some pull up there. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, yeah, but yeah. no, because like I mean, if you're dealing with the fucking rest, I would have had people a are still gonna be traveling through. I would have right? yeah. yeah. had, had a horse and buggy yeah. with a punch bowl full of rum. Bro. Yeah, fucking dish comes out. Yeah. Because is there like a is drinking more like the culture? Like you only do it at the pub or whatever? Like why won't you just drink at the house? No, it's it's both now. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I've heard that. Um, or no, maybe it was an English thing or something. But somebody said, yeah, if you drink at home, then you're an alcoholic. But if you drink with everybody else, then you're chilling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like fair enough. But, but on yeah, on Good Friday as well, the bars would be closed. You couldn't go the to a pub. Bars are closed. Oh. So yeah. people will queue up to go to the bar on Good Friday at like. Like, like 12 or oh. 5 wait for it to open yeah, at midnight yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh shit <laughs> oh there's nothing like a fucking midnight good good oh, friday yeah. party bro. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like a full moon party a full moon party yeah and then liquor stores would just like on the Thursday they would, they would just sell out because like everyone just talks about people oh, are buying yeah. alcohol it's like okay I need to go Stocking buy up, a yeah. six pack but then it's like oh, I can't buy alcohol tomorrow so that means I need to buy like a crate yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not just like two six packs yeah. and be like I need to buy a bottle of vodka. I need to buy yeah. a bottle of wine just in case. Man, like, you should I need see. Yeah, I know. You, I know you what it's like. You should see when, yeah, when Johnny and I go on vacation. It's a similar looking <laughs> yeah. situation yeah. there. Yeah. It's like I mean, I can crush like especially like vacation, Johnny. You'll find me in a oh, different yeah. light on, uh, it's on very vacation. True. And I, you'll I, see I, I enjoy yeah. pops and business hours anyway. Right? So <laughs> yeah. when, I, when I get out there, I think we were, at, um, yeah, we were at your friend's house, and I think I bought like two fifteen packs, thinking this is gonna be good for like two days or whatever. But you're sitting next to a fire. Mm-hmm. You know, cranking fucking hot dogs and day, shit, yeah. just chain smoking cigarettes, yeah. eating spits. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna drink 15 beers. Well, and that's yeah. the thing when you're on vacation too. The like, you wake up, maybe you have breakfast or something, and then you're just chilling. And then you're like, well, I should probably. Why wouldn't I start drinking now? Oh, yeah. You know? And so yeah, then yeah. it's totally. way more hours of drinking. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're getting yeah. into yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to the next go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This next weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My family's got a. <laughs> oh, yeah. My family's got this like p- property like way out in uh, in Cam or yeah, past Kamloops. Nice. My Sweet. cousin's uh, my cousin's husband, fucking just the. I love this guy. They've been dating for um uh, for years and years. They just got married last year, and he's just got uh, 
access to this property with his families and stuff like that and uh you know what i mean a, a couple bucks to blow so he went to cabela's and bought like tannerite which is an explosive that doesn't explode until you shoot a bullet at it and then it fucking oh, wow that's dope we're going to <laughs> blow some shit up next weekend guys yeah. and i'm very excited about it wait for the content so i'm sorry this is bad radio yeah <laughs> wait for the content i mean yeah yeah content's coming <laughs> that's fucking awesome What's like in Ireland? What? How? What's like a? As you're running around, you're a young hooligan. Um, what's like a the a way to pass the time? You know, like what are some common like? Is it just drinking? Yeah, we grew up smoking weed. Yeah. No, no, weed's not really a thing. Mm. It's still le- super legal there. Oh, crazy! Mm. But still, people still smoke. Yeah, still yeah, it, but yeah. Like, it's not like here. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah, just drinking in parks. Yeah. That's what teenagers do once you get to like fifteen, sixteen. Mm-hmm. Friday evening, go to a park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds and then, like my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like unfit. Yeah, yeah, sounds similar. To, yeah. 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 Maybe I am Irish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like yeah, and then it was a whole game to get alcohol as well. That was oh, in your 15, oh what a great game! Yeah. What a great game! We trying to get boots. Do you have a local favorite? Six Pack Johnny was our guy. He had three yeah. teeth in his fucking head and he was nuts. Oh, yeah. Six pack Johnny. Johnny. He was awesome. Johnny six packs. And like, I mean, so his liver was failing and he was like uh, like a regular at the um, at the hospital. So like everybody in town knew him to the point my mom worked front desk at the hospital. So like we'd be driving by and stuff and she'd be like, oh, six pack John over here is just losing it. I'm like, she's like, you don't talk to him, do you? And I'm like, of course not. Right. Then you yeah. see him at the hospital or something. And he's like, hey, how you doing, kid? Because <laughs> he'll just buy everybody booze, just take one beer from the thing. And yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. That was our guy. <laughs> did you have a six pack Johnny or did you just have to talk to ask it because if you don't have we a guy a to go to Johnny. then you have yeah. to yeah but <laughs> have I told you guys about Rick Page yet no, no. Rick Page <laughs> Ricky Page one time for Ricky so, Page so yo this fucking dude is fucking uh, oh my god so also known as the tan man okay oh, so god. he was like tan. you know What's like every little town's got like characters right oh like, of course everyone knows oh, Johnny fucking six pack oh, so, yeah. so yeah. fucking tan man was like we didn't find out his real name until like, like a, we were great to 12 but like it was like this guy was legendary. Like my brother's grades would talk mm. about the Tan Man, and then was like, <laughs> and then you're like, I can't wait till we get to stay up late and like have inner encounters with the Tan Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this motherfucker was a roofer, yeah. and then when he wasn't roofing, he was at the Centennial Beach just putting baby oil on him. This <laughs> motherfucker was a catcher's mitt. Like I'm just like just leather. Oh just, my god. Like just you know that chick in something about Mary, the old yeah, woman? Yeah, totally. Her. Like oh that level. I'm not kidding oh that god. level, dude. And then this fucking hair that was just like 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 you look like Blanca from fucking uh, yeah, Street yeah, Fighter. Yeah. But just <laughs> but like bleach blonde and then just lick back. Oh just my greasy. God. <laughs> so smoke number seven cigarettes. And you know that Seth Rick Reds, Perry, baby. he would always dine and dash at fucking White Spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't dine and dash in a small town. Yeah. More than once. Especially when you look like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. And like Daisy Dukes. Motherfucker yeah. would wear Daisy Dukes like up oh to like here. And God. just... Oh, dude. Yeah. The tan man was the best, That's dude. The he booted cool. for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, and then, like, you were like, it became a game of just like, you'd be, you'd be all high in the fucking forest or whatever, yeah. just getting drunk, and you'd see him go by on his bike to get a DUI or some shit. Yeah. And you'd be like, Rick Payne. Yeah. <laughs> like, he'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he would just constantly yell out, Rick Payne. <laughs> oh, so, it's so, so a fucking good. Hero. It was oh, such a celebrity, oh, like, si- it was like some Sasquatch yeah, shit, though. Yeah, that, totally, like, right? No, yeah, good, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like, fucking love for us a bunch, dude. We also had a guy that would deliver that worked for um, one of the, there's like th- two or three liquor stores in town, and they one of them just had a car driving around with big decals on the side of it that said uh, 368 beer. So you just call them or whatever, they'll come to your house, and normally that's up to that guy to check IDs right. and shit. But then I found out that my friends were supplying him with some extracurricular activities and stuff, so I was in a place with him. I don't know, I was like 16 or something like that. <laughs> my buddy fucking, free JJ. Um, my buddy looks at him and he goes, hey, he's okay. <laughs> so I could phone him when I was like 16. Like we had just been at a party or whatever. And I could phone this guy. He just oh, that's a him. hero yeah. move, dude. That was, yeah, that was dope. There's always was like dope. an older, my brother never really fucking did it for it, but he didn't look, I didn't have an older brother that looked like oh, enough yeah. right. like it. Like he, was, he wasn't 20 or he wasn't totally. 19 even. Right. Uh, yeah. But it was always, yeah, I don't know. You always gotta get food. Who's got the mustache? Who's yeah. Fucking, who, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah I don't have like, the, like a round enough face or whatever. I put there were so many places to buy booze, though. That's all I remember. There's yeah. nothing yeah. else to do in Twas, but there was like eight mm-hmm. places where you could buy alcohol. So like, you would just yeah. make the rounds. Or like, or you would fucking like 
Once we got like pagers and phones and shit, then it was like you'd all split up. Oh yeah, and like who's, who's, you hit this one, it? like whoever gets the boot first, kind of yeah. thing. Like yeah, totally. You, but you'd have to like <laughs> everyone would have like you would have to like page somebody like nine one one, and then like they would all like run over to whatever location you are to give you the money because uh, yeah. like everyone still had. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're yeah, a kid; yeah. you don't have enough money just to Dude. pay for everyone's yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get like two hundred dollars oh, yeah. or the fucking boost. So late, yeah, you miss out. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get my vodka? Did you get my vodka? <laughs> <laughs> no money for your vodka, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my parents would always buy us booze. Oh, Must nice! Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We had a, we had parents like that. Like uh, my friend Justin Peters had a shout out to Shirley yeah. Peters. She's fucking. When, uh, <laughs> when, when I went, yeah, to Kenny and Wendy Boggs were the love for us. Oh man, she's fucking. She was dope, dude. She, to this day, she still like will message me like on my birthday and stuff. And like, yeah. yeah, no, she's a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's when awesome. uh, when I went to McGill, my little brother came to visit when he was in grade twelve, so he was seventeen, and the legal age in Montreal is. 18 right um but we were you know he was coming to visit me in university like we knew we were going to be like out drinking and partying so my parents bought him a fake id (laughs) 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 fucking once again julie and tim just going above and beyond the call of duty that's That's awesome awesome. yeah that's the coolest fucking thing i've ever heard (laughs) jesus christ what's the what is there like is there drinking age or is like whatever like it's it's eighteen in Ireland, but right. like not everyone starts at like fifteen, sixteen. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like in, mm-hmm. yeah. The parks, man, drinking in parks. Yeah. What was yeah. your first alcohol that you had? Do you remember? Dutch gold. No, what's oh, yeah. Dutch gold? Pretty, pretty famous in Ireland. Okay, it's like the cheapest alcohol you can get. Like okay, it's like a whiskey. Yeah. or is yeah. it beer? A beer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of beer. Like it's the most successful product in the history of Ireland. That has never been advertised. Really? They've what? never spent a cent on advertising. They just just wow. sell it because yeah. everybody drinks. Everybody at my age was drinking. It's like go in. I think it was seven euro six pack of Dutch gold. Yeah. <laughs> Dutch Nastiest gold. beer you could Dutch buy. Gold. Yeah. What Hell was the yeah. percentage on it? Do you remember? Like five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just I, like tall. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go on. Just go like on. tall cans. Just <laughs> disgusting. Oh, yes. right. No. Oh. Yeah. I think when I, like I, it, I skunky beer. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds delightful. Because when I first tried alcohol, I would have been like really young, like just tasting like yeah, my yeah, parents' yeah. beer or wine or whatever. But when I started like drink, when my, my parents would start like buying us, buying me liquor for when they had parties and shit. Uh, when I was probably, yeah, like 14, 15, 13, maybe. Uh, it was always fucking smeared off ice yeah, or, or Mike's hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. I think like Kokanee was big when uh, like just being in the Kootenays or whatever like that. And I think my stepdad drank a lot. So I remember drinking like a lot of those like Budweiser, just like whatever generic shit. Um, but when I started drinking beer, believe it or not, I, I didn't like it. And uh, like all my friends were drinking shit. So like they're just like I never um, like I drink, drink maybe like some mixed drinks or something like that. But with beer, everybody would just like kind of hand you one or whatever. And mm-hmm. I'd be sitting there like, fuck, I don't want to have this goddamn beer. And now it's yeah. fucking warm because I haven't been drinking it for a half hour. So yeah. I'd be like getting caught, dumping it out. People are like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I didn't want it in the first place, <laughs> which is yeah. hilarious now because yeah. I can fucking drink a beer faster than I can pour one on the Corrected for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we were, I remember us being very like not, it wasn't a whole lot of sharing of the booze. Yeah. <laughs> it was, everyone had yeah. like your yeah. own thing and it was yeah. like, no, this is my fucking beer. Like I remember like how like you were just trying to divvy it all up throughout yeah. your evening and it, your tolerance would build every weekend. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, 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 oh yeah. man, like oh, I can't have that full <laughs> Mickey of Fireball afterwards, yeah. but I can have half of it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I remember like, yeah, the, in the early days of drinking, we would definitely be like, uh, like two of us. Like I remember one of the first times I got, I got hammered. Me and my buddy, Chris, we went to his um, uh, in his garage, and we just had a bottle of Smirnoff, and his mom just made Kool Aid like a like just a just every fucking day. There's a mm-hmm. giant jug of sugary Kool Aid in there, so we just <laughs> went and got the red fucking jug, and just oh, went, yeah. and we just like you know shot awesome. for shot back and forth, and tried to finish as much as we could or whatever, and then we took it um, with us because we were trimming weed at the time. Like that was like the huge thing in the fucking in the Coonies or whatever. So we just walked to this guy, Injun Joe. Um, that was his name. What he would he, when I he introduced himself to me, he's like, "You call me Engine Joe," and uh, that was crazy. Yeah. Um, and he was a big uh, ICP fan, so like on Halloween, he'd uh, paint his face like Shaggy Two Dope and shit like that. Wow. So it was a really <laughs> wild place. And I was hanging out there one night, and um, Chris, the kid that I was drinking the vodka with, his cousin um, overdosed, and but uh, he was like, um, had court ordered like. Um, suspension from drugs and alcohol and stuff like that he can't have anything in his system so with that od he was gonna go back to jail so we were kind of hanging out there trimming weed like the first night that i was like really drunk and this kid comes like 
bolting through the door in a hospital gown and like bare ass underneath because he was like he fucking woke up. He woke up in the hospital and was like, I'm going to fucking jail because he's like fucking he wasn't handcuffed to the bed though. So we just ripped everything out of his arm and fucking booked out the hospital and like it's all built on this hill, right? So we kinda came down this hill and within a block or two he was like at this house while we have garbage bags full of weed that were that were clipping in there. Yeah. So this dude loses his fucking mind. He's his friend or whatever, right? But it's still like crazy. And I'm like, oh, Chris, I haven't seen your cousin. And, oh, is he, oh, I guess he's out of jail. <laughs> and, yeah. and he's going right back in. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. So there was um, a couch that I was sitting on with a table, or sorry, with a window behind me that was maybe like, um, like six by six inches. Like I couldn't fit through. No human could fit through that <laughs> fucking window. And he's sitting there and he's just fucking losing his mind. And there's like a bong on the table. So he just grabs the bong and takes a fucking bong trough that's in it as um the all the the window like the, the room just starts like lighting up with red and blue lights because yeah. cops are fucking somebody yeah. had saw him or whatever right so i'm sitting there on this fucking thing and we're like oh shit we have to grab all these garbage bags run into the basement and he fucking jumps through that window <laughs> while i'm sitting on the couch like i've never seen a crackhead move like that like, <laughs> so <laughs> agile it's fucking crazy <laughs> and i'm just like i'm like holy shit and i'm looking out the window and his bare ass just tucks and rolls and hits the ground yeah. and he just runs and then the fucking cops are banging on the door and shit like that we almost got fucking arrested yeah that was that's crazy. crazy that was a wild night yeah <laughs> Uh, should we talk about the album a little? Yeah, <laughs> it's been like yeah. an hour. Uh, yeah, we're an hour. That's, that's, that's kind of par for the course. Yeah. <laughs> so, what? Uh, tell us about like your history with this album. Don't even have a good history. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the hour mark, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, up yeah, to you, yeah. dude. Uh, I've listened to like such basic music mm-hmm. as a teenager and as a like early twenties. Right. Like, I listened to like Muse. You two like just rock, just yeah. Like, right, yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, I should like get more eclectic mm-hmm. music mm-hmm. listenings. So I just like, I think I just googled like top ten albums or whatever of like yeah. download like a part of them like yeah, mm-hmm. and then just like blew through them and then mm-hmm. Beach House by Teen Dream or mm-hmm. sorry the other way around, but listen to that and just like I think I've listened to it like hundreds of times now. Oh, Don't know okay. something just caught yeah. me on it and just like okay. yeah just. Makes me feel a little sad, a little happy. Yeah. It just like just stir that. something. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like that the soundtrack for Drive. Drive if Drive was like PG. It sounds like <laughs> something like it sounds like they made it uh, with the intention to be like the soundtrack in like an angsty coming of age film. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah. As soon as the first track comes on, yeah. just like Zebra, just like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rolling you, yeah, down. Yeah, you see some s- someone in a car. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some sad yeah. teenager yeah. in their room yeah. just drawing. Yeah. Yeah. I just well, I yeah. listened to this first thing in the morning yeah. and I was like, fuck, man, this is going to take a second. To- <laughs> 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 I, I, I got to get into this. All right. It's got that like classic slapback reverby, mm-hmm. like Fender twin amp mm-hmm. just yeah. vibe throughout the whole thing, but but also kind of dancey at some point. Mm-hmm. Super melodic. Totally. The vocals yeah. in it are insane. The layering of the vocals are like fucking, mm-hmm. I think. The most impressive part right, that I yeah, heard yeah. is this is their third studio album, but their f- debut album on Sub Pop, which, which is, is kind of yeah, fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, I did the yeah, right. that, that was the thing crazy, that stood out yeah. to me. When yeah, I was, doing I was like, I was blown away because like 2010 yeah. and Sub Pop. Yeah, I just don't Do you know think Sub Pop records. Yeah. No. Sub Pop Records came from, um, it's a Seattle uh, independent music scene, came from um, a fanzine that one of those guys used to do called uh, Subterranean uh, Pop. And um, basically, they're uh, credited for making grunge music popular. You know what I mean? Nirvana, mm-hmm. Soundgarden, like uh, all the all those bands. Pearl Jam, like the 90s fucking Pearl Jam. Yeah. Yeah. Mud Honey, mm-hmm. Sonic Youth, yeah, all those dude. bands. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. Sweet. So um, which was it's like, surprising. It's yeah. legitimately surprising to see that Sub Pop label on this because it was on. I listened to it on the uh, like the YouTube um, the stream or whatever. So it has the album title and Sub Pop very proudly displayed on the on the, on the cover of the thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. How long has it been? And like, it's such a weird time for mm-hmm. Sub Pop too because like 2010 is like it's kind of after all the hate of Sub Pop had yeah. happened and, and they yeah, had totally. they did have this little kind fuck of yeah, resurgence was, again uh, for sure. For um, sure. And but like it's kind of cool for them to like to like uh, shed whatever like uh, image they have of themselves or whatever, and then just put out like you know people that want to fucking make whatever they want to make or whatever, right? If there's whatever they saw in these guys that uh, you know that put them on, is, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely it's cool. a full like it's a fucking like it's an album album like it's a full oh, kind yeah. of experience yeah. like front to back. So I was like, oh, let's do a couple tracks where I'm like, no, I need to listen to this front yeah. and back because totally. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just like it's uh it's very yeah very like a score almost totally. it feels like yeah yeah, yeah. It's definitely what yeah. it felt like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, and it's just like it's it's interesting because, you know what I mean. I I think, you know, like people's um, pets sometimes will look like them, 
or whatever, right? Or like <laughs> yeah. like like people's like music that they bring in here or whatever will like kind of like be like a reflection of who they are. Like like Brendan Washburn brought in chocolate starfish and the hot dogs yeah. they brought in for fuck's sake, right? Yeah. So <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Which is kind of yeah, which which was kind of cool too. I'm when I'm listening to these things that a guest brings in, then I'm always trying to picture like where their heads at. You know, when you're listening to that, I feel like, yeah, you're just sitting cross-legged, just floating in the middle of a room. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it definitely does seem like something that I would have gotten into as a teenager. Like, I definitely was into the, I went through, yeah, an angsty teenage, like, Tumblr, like, phase, yeah. listening to Bonnie Vare, <laughs> or that whole, yeah, whole, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I could definitely see uh, a time in my life where this would have been the shit. Yeah, me. yeah. that's exactly yeah. what it was. And now it's, yeah. <laughs> I hate to bring the conversation back around to it, but it's now more like, it's my bomb music. Yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've listened to it once or twice, oh. like bombed real bad. Get onto yeah. my bike, put my earphones in. Oh, <laughs> oh that's great though. Yeah. When you associate an album with horrible yeah. shit. Yeah. So those are going to stop listening. Habit. I'm a creature yeah. of habit. And there's like albums that I can't mm. listen to, but like if, if, if life like circles back around or whatever, and that, you know, say that happens or whatever, you lose another friend or something like that. Mm. Then I have something in my back pocket. It's so funny, man. I still won't like, like I saw that the Volta are coming out with a new album yeah. and I was like, Oh fuck! I listened. I was like, it's still like there's this one chick that dated for a minute that I was like, nah. Yeah. She was like really, and I'm like, that's just like so your band. Yeah. So yeah. like, I don't care what. Like they're amazing. Like no, Omar Rodriguez is fucking Dude, unbelievable. Fuck yeah, He's Frank Zappa of our time. Yep. But I'm just like, eh, you have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I love. I love it's that terrible. band. Terrible. Yeah. It's just like I yeah. Can't, yeah. 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 I once broke up with a girl because she was super into Bowie. Like it was, she was all about Bowie, and I was just like. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell this is not because you're going. gonna try and slowly turn me into Bowie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already doing all the cocaine. Yeah, if you just right? start, feeding, yeah, if you just yeah. start feeding me red peppers and put a little oh cap God. on me, yeah, Aladdin <laughs> trick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But but yeah no it was a, it was a nice like dreamy album to to start the day. <laughs> yeah, it was man. Yeah. It's good. It's a good album yeah, for sure. Very cool yeah. man. Yeah. It's very cool. So yeah, like what's what 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 do you got going on in the world, man? How do you want to land this plane, there? Where where can the people find you? Anything to to plug? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 like so do you just refuse to work hard? Can you like hustle harder or something like that? <laughs> Next time when you come on here, can you just have like a, you know? I mean, just a reason to promote yourself, right? We're offering yeah. you a platform here, and you're blowing it. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking blowing. It. <laughs> yeah, don't really do the social media. I like. I used to love promoting crummy comedy, but now that's <laughs> right. <laughs> kind of died ending, yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. Ours is gone as well. Sorry. So. Oh. King's yeah. head's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's on hiatus for, hiatus the, summer. for the summer. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. The last crummy was there's no air conditioning in the wallflower. It's mm-hmm. just like, Oof, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Oof. yeah. You <laughs> yeah. just pack that thing out too. That's yeah, yeah. that'd be gnarly. Well, you know what I mean. Hopefully, uh, comedy will come back in a, <laughs> in a in a in a brighter, bigger way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it people was... can find you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll circle back to that. <laughs> yeah, if, if anything ever pops up, we'll let them know. We'll edit, <laughs> yeah. we'll appreciate we'll edit the episode every every time something good in your life happens. We'll do an update. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Well, yeah, think, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. thanks for coming on. Thanks yeah, so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so much fun. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah. Peace. 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 <laughs>